Hello, Internet. This is No Man's Sky. And, uh, I would like to say that between episodes, I did a, a good bit of off-camera work, but, uh, I did not have a lot of off-camera time. The reason... <clears throat> well, sudden unexpected scheduling changes at my work. So, uh, I did a recording session back on Tuesday, and now it's Thursday, and I'm doing another recording session because this may be the only day off I get this week. And I, I, I know you're, you're thinking Tuesday and Thursday are the same week. Well, the place where I work, we start schedule the, the, we start the work schedule at Wednesday. I, I, it's it's weird, okay. And also, I woke up this morning with a sore throat, this turning into a respiratory infection. So I'm gonna sound like this for about three episodes. We gotta do what we gotta do. Also. This is the first day of week two of the, uh, community research thingy. So, uh... Now, I did do some, uh, reputation farming for the Artemis quest off-camera. I, I got that done. And one of the things I learned while trying to get Viking daggers for my, uh, Viking armorer downstairs is that, uh... Reputation items, you know, like the Viking daggers and the convergence cubes and all those things. Apparently, since next, they're no longer sold on the uh, Galactic Trade Network or by NPC starships that dock on space stations. However, let me turn the light on and not do a lot. Okay, that doesn't. Okay, the lighting is very realistic. But. Yeah, no, don't go up the ladder. But. NPC starships that dock at uh, your own personal landing pad, or that dock at a. Uh, nope, 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 up. Ladders are difficult. Or the NPC starships that dock at a. Uh, trading station landing pads, or the landing pads in uh, your own personal freighter, they do have the reputation items. So, if you have the space money, and you want to farm reputation, that's a way of doing it. But, uh... First, let's go into space, and... My ship is downstairs. I'm used to it being there, but... Whatevs. Anyway, let's go into space. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Resp respiratory stuff. Let's go into space and deal with Polo and the community event. I'm not going to do it on camera because, again, community events, they're kind of meh, in my opinion. I want to do the main quest, but... Let's do this while we're at it. And I know this is airing probably a week or two after the fact. Yep, incoming message. The universe has greatly changed. Evolution has clocked a thousand loops, friend. The very metals and minerals of the worlds are refreshed, echoed by the diet of all strange and splendid beasts. I believe the hex cores have been attracting creatures nibbling this anomalous snack. We must observe the effects, feed our animal friends, and research and search the results for clues. This is joy stuffed research we do. On a prime site to continue our research, the tra uh, traveler friend, I am transmitting you coordinates for a portal to bypass the light years. Through that gateway, our research begins. <clears throat> so, what am I supposed to do again? Visit the Mark Planet. If necessary, use blah, 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 blah. I want to do this one. I mean, I'm sure there are people who have done videos on this, but... All the more reason for me to do the, the other one. Which is... Whoa, 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 what? What? It, it's... The life form is over on... Miss Janssen? Also known as Beyonce? I... Last time... It w was... I want to try something. I want to try something. I'm going to try something. I go back into a mess's atmosphere. <coughs> atmosphere, sorry. 
Do they have us here yet? Are they there yet? Okay, now we're there. Let's get a little deeper. And a little more sideways. There we go. Now, let me go P. Unselect it. Okay. Now, let's go P. Select it again. Still in the same place. And it doesn't even look like it's close to my base. Okay, we're gonna burn some pyrite for this one. Last time I encountered the life form, they were on Emesa, I think. Not entirely sure. It's it's been two days, okay? Uh, no, no, up, up, up. There we go. Aim for that guy there. Or or the loot. You know, I, I, I get it, I get it. My, my ship is used to me hunting loot, so it's automatically pointing toward loot. I, I get it. I totally get it. Oh, and we're being, we're gonna get scanned. I, I don't have time for a space fight right now. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Also, there are things I've done on my uh, freighter that I want to show you, but if, if the space pirates take up too much time... How, how many... how many? Three. Yeah, that's gonna take too long to kill. Let's, let's just run. So, say what? Oh, combat frigate came to my rescue! But didn't actually defeat any because there's still three chasing me. I, I think something's a little broken there. Well, let's... No, don't point toward the loot! I mean, I know you want to point toward the loot. I, 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 I guess I programmed you to look and orient toward loot automatically, but I, I need to do a quest right now. Okay, we're heading toward loot. That I will get to eventually someday. I know, if we check out my space money, I should probably have more space money. And thus, I need to be loot hunting. The bequests! I wish I could orient a little more over that way toward the target life form, but I, I, I guess this is like warp. Faster than light, no left or right. I learned that from Star Trek Voyager. I think it was Star Trek Voyager. Can I, can I drop out of pulse drive and then reorient over here? No, 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 no. Reorient over here. Reorient over here. There we go. I mean, I'm assuming we're doing faster than light. I mean, okay, to be honest. When video games are concerned, relativity is weird. It, it makes more sense in the real world. But w when you try to create a, a universe where time is always time, and it never varies, it never warps, it never bends, it never twists, it's, it's like relativity is out the window. See, with the relativity, we can cover this distance without ever going faster than the speed of light. Because time and space And we're upside down. Kind of. And we're about to get scanned again. Yay. Don't you love space pirates? Let's, let's go right side up and let's slow down a little bit. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. But now let's slow down a little bit. Why did you change planets, dude? Why? Why? Hi? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did you change planets? So I approach the light form of the lights on a shell, in case I begin to brighten and constrict, shattering noises issuing forth. 
They hold out a scanner, and it is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Just, just scanning without permission is just rude. Ask for information about star system. Life force shattering ends, they stare at me with disappointment. To what, I was supposed to scan them? That's rude! Life force shell casing is entirely a flicker that hit to scan my scanner, but it's clear that my tool interferes with his own. Allow the life form to scan me. Yay! I allow the life form to scan me, and they're very, very happy about it. A three dimensional cross section of my body, exosuit, skin, organs, all included. Finding the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it's complete. This, this data is invaluable to Corvax Convergence. Thank you, Traveler. I will, of course, assist you. You have a star chart. So I forwarded the code to the star chart to provide return to location. <coughs> location does not exist, Traveler. Ahu! Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. What? Did you made a mistake? Oh. Nah! Corvex seems momentarily confused, as if the concept that they could have made a mistake has never been considered. Claim their systems are infallible. Superior to the judgment of any organic life form. I apologize and leave. Well... Return to space to make contact with Artemis. I'm getting bloops and bleeps. No, I'm not. Okay, so return to space and make contact with Artemis. Don't hit the guy. Don't hit the guy. Okay, we didn't hit the guy. Don't hit the other guy. Okay, help him make contact with Artemis before I make contact with space pirates. Incoming message. Bloop. <clears throat> there you are. <laughs> I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool in the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell her what happened. Tell Artemis the locals could not decipher the star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim the stars did not exist. It's possible I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Uh, how'd you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crack with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in a panic. Stars, they've altered since I made the chart. Blinked out and. How's this possible? What is happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to. It is quiet at first, but there is. Unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. Sound as if glass could scream. Family of glass. What's happening? They're coming for me. I can see them. Smell them. Discover the glyphs for a portal, traveler. A gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. Pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. I... There are seeds of glass within their... Glyphs! Glyphs! Now! They're gone. My data fragmented in... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't to be in alone anymore. Sixteen, scorn your face. It please not yet. I'm not. Signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Whoa. Remember a few episodes back when I was asking questions about am I Apollo? Register ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Okay, so apparently I'm not Apollo. Am I Starbuck? <coughs> no, wait, is, is Starbuck Apollo? I forget. So, locate a hollow terminus. Let's 
get down into the planet. Also, oh, some space scan detected, of course. Stupid pirates. I don't like you. Let's get right side up. Scanning for a hollow terminus. Hollow terminus detected over... Over, over where? Over that way? Over that way. How far away are you? Just a few seconds, okay. That's not that bad. As long as you're not on the other side of the planet. Ooh, speaking of distances, I should probably refuel this with some pyrite. There we go. I mean, I don't need it now, but I might need it later. And if, if I need it in an emergency, and I don't have it, I might get a little upset. a little bit. Let's get up a little bit. Let's get up a little bit. I don't want to hit the trees. I don't want to hit the trees. Yay, I didn't hit the trees. There you are. There's not a lot of room to land. Okay, there's a landing thing on the other side of the thing. Well, uh, I, I apparently just phased right through the tower. Let's uh, recharge this as well. Okay, uh, let's discover the place. Make the world shake a little bit. Yep. Krasnovice sheet. So apparently we're in Russia. Where's, where's the, there? Uh, more ladders. I don't have a good relationship with ladders right about now. Ah, that's bright. Untee. Don't fall. See, what was that? What was that like instant tea thing called the untee? I'm not a tea drinker, so I, I can't remember. It was it was an '80s thing. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna to talk to Apollo now. Blah 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 blah. Tune to Apollo. So <coughs> much detected. You are totally not. You're a transformer. Or a GoBot, which was a cheap Transformers ripoff. As mission is silent, the stranger just stares at me. Mm, greet Apollo. Identify yourself, or I end this call. I'm a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Uh, why? Why do you use that word at all? Friend. It's just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care if some dream says we're travelers. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even if this conversation is a waste of valuable contract to me. Uh, she's in trouble. Tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. They attempted to use a portal and became stranded in some distant, uncharted world, disappearing from the Hall Terminus network. Paul's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Okay, fine. Paul studies along, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions, turning to me with a glow of excitement. Maybe it's just the glow being a holographic projection. These noises, they sound like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with, the pre with their precious planets. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, they're annoying. This data is distorted. Inverted. Inverted? What? The Viking will pay handsomely if they figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this recording of yours, the portals, 
Perhaps they're the key. I could do that, but I get the feeling that Apollo is a mercenary and is going to be like, ah, you're, you're stupid. Fine, whatever. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Uh, fine. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. I can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. Apparently a game is posted in the new announcement. I can press shift tab to view, but I don't want to right now. You can find nanite clusters scattered in the abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really? The same structures the Sentinel destroyed will lead to their deaths. Train these nanite clusters and merchants and space stations and get the blueprints you need. Yeah, I've done all of that that I can. I need to find blueprints elsewhere, apparently. In communication. <clears throat> As the hologram receives, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly. As if sighing. Saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Oh yeah, I gotta go collect nanites. And... Zip it, zip it, zip it. Locate Viking multi-tool trader, return to space, and locate a Viking system. Uh, okay. So now I have discovered a Viking system. I could just use a portal to go there. But I want to test out this. I meant to get to that a few episodes ago, but I didn't. I forgot. But now that I'm supposed to go to another system... Don't hit the... I hit the tree. But now that I'm supposed to go to another system... Let's go to another, another system. Am I in space yet? Am I in space yet? Yes, I'm in space. Galaxy map. So now... Unselect all of it so I can so I can lose where I am. Yep. Uh I like to center explore Atlas Station. The Atlas Station is way out there. So now I I went to Mystery Arza some time ago. But that's a yellow star. I wanna find a red star. A red star in the nearby. A red star that I can actually warp to. Oop, this one maybe? Uh, no. This one? No. This one? E. Borotech some number. So I, I can I can warp to it? I can? Can I warp to it? Yes, I can. And here we go, down another uh, Doctor Who tunnel. <clears throat> so now, are red star systems any different from the yellow ones? Well, it sounds like we're going to find out. Ebortech some number system. Uh, is there a space station nearby? There's another planet nearby. Oh, I don't even know who's who's the dominant life form in this system. Um. Uh, scan that. What's it like? Sodium pyrite cadmium. Dusty planet. What does dusty look like? I know I could use my pulse drive, but I, I want to save my pyrite for now. I mean, I make it from gold, which is odd because pyrite is fool's gold and is actually made of iron. So I should be making pyrite from ferrite. But whatever. Okay, it's a little farther away than I thought it was. Okay, pull up. Pull up, 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 pull up. Uh, 
Okay, so we got oceans, and we got land. And that appears to be it. Oh, and we got cadmium over there. And we got cactus. Well, let's land and see what it's all about. External temperature is apparently very cold. Store point saved. Weather clear, sentinels regular, flora full, fauna high. Yep, it's it's a cold planet, okay. So now, uh, discoveries. Dominant life form, uncharted. So completely uncharted. Well, <clears throat> that's uh, that's different. There's no dominant life form here. Well, let's scan some animals. As long as we're here, let's scan some animals. Wow, 12 species here? Hi, Sentinels. So apparently I've already scanned all the animals in the area. Okay. <clears throat> so there's no dominant life form here. So there's no reason for me to... I, I can't do a quest here, can I? Hmm... Visit multi-tool technology trader in a Viking system. Okay. Is that Arza? That's Corvax. That's Viking, but I, I don't know where that is on the on the that, that was the uh, last week's um 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 community event place. I don't have I don't know how to warp there. It's really far away apparently. Let's get. Okay, Inanchang. Okay, so doing this the simple way. <laughs> oh, if there's no space station here, I can't use a portal. So, is. It... Yeah, I don't think there's. You know. Unless it's on the other side of this planet. Well, uh, you know, one of the things I love most about these open-world, buildy, crafty, survival-y type games is the freedom. The freedom to go, do, see, and explore all the things I want to go, do, see, and explore. Let's go to the galaxy map. You know, the freedom to, uh... Mm, was, no. The freedom to... No, no, not that one. No, not that one. There we go. The freedom to, <laughs> to forge my own path cannot warp. What? Oh, hyperdrive has no fuel. ruh -ro. Uh, let's go back down. Anyway, the freedom to uh, pursue my own path And be the master of my own de uh, destiny. Uh, and you know what? I believe we deserve more than that in our real lives, and we don't get it because we're not taught how to get it. If you agree and you want to learn how, keep watching.